Today, we are ranking every single icon in the game. As per usual, we have tiers. Broken, rank one, foot champs, debatable in the pine. Make sure to like the video. It's gonna be a long one. I'm not gonna hold you up. We're going French to get started. She's nice. I feel like I might be underselling her in foot champs. I'm just being honest, but that's where we're starting. New goalkeeper, higher rated than Buffon. No, to the pine, five foot nine. Absolutely not. Baggio with the five star skills, a little technical action for the people. At this moment, I'd like to get him into foot champs and I'm holding on to that. Also this week, and we've been doing it live. I am raising money for Wings for Life. We do this every single year. It's been on Twitch. If you're not familiar with Wings for Life, as a charity, I will link all the details below, but the main focus is curing spinal cord injuries. Gareth Bale, brand spanking new. I hate his price tag. It's outrageous. I'm giving him rank one clearly. Rapid, just boosting with the pace. But there's a handful of icons that are clear, night and day over Gareth Bale. Baresi, can't do it. Undersized, not gonna be amazing. I'm not happy about putting him in the pint. I don't make the items. EA is not doing right by them. Barnes will also get you into a weekend. For sure. Simply put. And it makes me want to make a movement early. I think the Frenchie's got to go up. David Beckham into the debate. I don't love him. The passing, pristine. You need it on your foot. It's there. He's not a true winger by any means. And he might have some complications even using him as a center mid. Dennis Birdcamp. I wish that he was better. Got a nasty Travella on him. Georgie Best, clear for rank one. Some of the fastest footwork, responsiveness. He's got that supersonic. I'm talking the hedgehog. Throw it back, Sega Genesis. If you know, then you know. Laurent Blanc, oof. At this stage, I feel rank one is still where he's at. We had overpowered history, and it's more of the same in FC 25. GG Buffon, the disrespect. I cannot stress this enough. How do you put out two new icons? And clear cut, one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, if not number one. And you have a goalkeeper that half the people watching this video, if not more, have never heard of. And she's higher rated. I'm not happy with that. But Buffon will be at least weak in league, if not better. Cafu! Dangerous out wide. Premier fullback at the moment. Sol Campbell and I have not had a good relationship or rapport. I'm not changing it. I'll give him the debate. Cannavaro, also the debate, unfortunately. He's still undersized. I would prefer a bigger body type. Eric Cantona, absolutely. And I saw him at the EA event. I believe it was in Madrid that he came out to. Carlos Puyo, Pine. Don't do it. Carlos Alberto, anticipate. That's a helper. Casillas, he'll be better than foot champ same with Buffon but I, I want to put goalkeepers into at least a weekend league and then you guys could shift from there again preference and you need a lot of time and it's still opinionated Bobby is nice Get him into rank one. Seems like we're going to have a theme of plenty of rank one action. Ashley Cole, you could play a weekend with. I, I think his item will be quickly outdated just with upgrades and promos. You know how this goes. Crespo, it's been a long time. If you remember when it used to be legends and not icons, Crespo was showing out. I think we're leaning more towards the pine, not even a debatable. Cruyff, I have to give him the first broken of the day, and I will have a separation between broken and maybe the top five icons, period, because I want to do that, so we will. Also, office setup, it's coming together. Everything is Elgato if you want to make some pickups. King Kenny coming with a finesse for a play style plus which I believe there's gonna be a patch and it's gonna make finesse shots stronger because as it stands, Travellas are probably too overpowered. Oof. Del Piero also comes with that finesse. Uh, maybe not as proven. And if you have a number 10-esque role available, Del P can slot right in. Desai is solid, lockdown, center back, still clunky as can be when you have the ball, which is an issue because of the counter press. You have to be able to get the ball out. I am terrified of Didier Drogba. There's a way to be masterful with these poacher types or physical players and just dunk Lob City and he could finish everything. Maybe I am talking my way into foot champs. I will come back to it. Petr Cech, I'm telling you, most goalkeepers, you're going to see him in foot champs. Butragueno is a monster. He's getting an extra notch for me. His turning is just, oh, it's beautiful. Chef's kiss. Essien, even though the stats look like other midfielders, he performs better. He's got jockey for a play style plus. I'll tell you what, on the record, icons and even heroes definitely have some extra aura or extracurricular. EA's given them a little bit of a bump. I'm noticing the difference between those types of players or those versions comparatively to standard golds or even early promo items. Sammy Eto, you don't want to see that. Rank one, quick step on the play style plus rough. Speaking of Eusebio broken, and I would put Eusebio above Johan Cruyff on the record. You can co-sign that. Again, the separation that he creates and 
the burst of pace. It is just filth. Rio Ferdinand. He's got anticipate for a playstyle plus. He is what you would expect him to be. And I'm making this list based around comparison between icons. I just want that on the record from a criteria perspective. Hiero. And I've been talking to folks. They've been liking him a lot more. I'm going to give him the debate just because I know multiple pro players that have said you'll be surprised by Hierro. Fernando Torres, El Nino. Man's getting buff in the gym. Still true striker in many regards. We're going to put him into rank one. Julian the Middies. I'm not sure that this is going to be a guarantee for foot champs. Garinch is disgusting. Filth. He's back on a mission. Last year, he sort of took off at least rank one, depending how you line this up. Garincha and Georgie Best have a lot of similarities. If you want a comparison player, Gattuso is going to be a no-go to the pine. Stevie G, and I know there's more placements for some of these balanced midfielders. You can find roles for them, depending how you're building your team. I just don't know if it's going to be so much better than some of the other players that you have. Still doesn't have the skills or the weak foot. It bothers me. What else can I say? Rude Hullet, one of the most dominant to ever do it period long hair you always care you're gonna notice some just gallops through the midfield controls everything scores when he wants defends at all times breaks up plays if you were building a fantasy team you would always have root hold in the lineup regardless of the opposition haji underrated foot champs I'm telling you you're gonna enjoy using them mia ham disgusting she's gonna break controllers she's scoring goals from everywhere five star five star we're talking a 10 piece and some self-love and self depth Henri is nice with it. That rapid, again, it's a separation that's noticeable. This year, rapid and quick step. If you have play style pluses, there's a lot that's been introduced that plays into highly favorable runs or movements or just attacking ingenuity for players like Henri. Hernandez, he's definitely fast. Maybe we can get him into a debate for the Mexican internationals. Jerzinho, uh-huh, rank one, rapid. Did I talk about that? I think I did. I want to bring that up again. Kaka, and it's been a long time coming. Rank one, without a doubt. Roy Keane, no. <laughs> really? Miroslav, I'll put him into the debate. He's scoring everything from a set piece or a knockdown, but he's not my cup of tea. Clivert, I'm putting him into the Crespo scenario. I'm not happy about it. Don't come after me. I'm just the messenger. I'm giving you my opinion amongst the icons this is not the year for ronnie not for coleman i'm also putting him into the pine he has dead ball for a play style plus but he's an undersized defender and there's better players that you can get for a cheaper price tag philip lom's sort of caught in between roles frank lampard also similar to stevie g depends what you're looking for but he's not gonna move the needle tremendously if you're a fan i understand in my opinion you've got better choices larson sort of been out of rotation that's not a surprise it's not a mistake or a mishit it's for a reason this might be a hot take so there's a different version of a fake shot that you can do if you have a play style plus for trickster and loudrop has that and it's so overpowered right now i am putting him into foot champs he's got something extra overpowered i know i know play him in the middle of the pitch Lineker is still not good and to add insult to injury ea gave him chip shot for a play style plus which doesn't help him shift his current disposition luis figo i see the stats i'm not gonna start putting him into foot champs i don't have that belief makalele no problem for the weekend maldini you already know what's happening here to the top absolute monster when he steps you don't get past one of the greatest interceptors of all time in football and for many the best center back period lothar too many stats to disregard put him into rank one will control a, a midfield the madhouse another player that i had the chance to do an interview with which was incredible miyama new icon moves like a pro clubs player dribbling is gonna be something you're not used to I still don't think I can lean her into the foot champs. Ah, some of you will like her, some of you not so much. She doesn't have that breakaway pace that I would prefer for a, a true winger. Put her into the debate, which feels right for the majority. Muller, and this is tough. I've never resonated with him. That's not to say this year can't turn that around. I think I still have to put him into the debate. Bobby Moore has been on a downtrend for me, straight to the pine. Nedved, I'd like for him to be better. I really would. He's not a bad value just to have a floating attacker. He can do a lot, but he still doesn't have that next level separation, something that makes him special, something that you can really abuse use and I, ah, that that's where i'm standing or that is my stance nesta's never had the extracurricular for yours truly 
I'm going to put him into the pine for now, but I think EA might have bumped his dribbling a little bit with the agility and the bounds. I feel like it used to be worse. Michael Owen will be able to finish for you, but 69 passing, chip shot for a play style plus. It just kills items, and I hate that he can't pass. You need to be able to facilitate. I'm playing a lot of striker to striker passing, chip through balls. It matters. Knockdowns. He just limits him. Pele, and it could be his best year yet. The game just fits what he's got going on. You need offense, you got it instantly with Pele. Petit, a little more classic holding mid. I like him for the weekend though. I think he does the job. I hope many of you agree. New icon into the debate. Again, acrobatic as a play style plus, sort of a waste. Not gonna be a brilliant facilitator or even some of the physical play in action. I, I, I'm, I'm on the fence here. Pirlo. A lot of love for him. I think he's better than the stats because he doesn't really have the pace, but you still got the five-star skills. If you're playing a deep playmaker role, which is his bread and butter, foot champs feels right. Him and Baggio will hold it down. Robert Perez. I like that he can play as a left mid, right mid, attacking mid. I think he can play as a left winger. I'm going to give him the debate, but he's not amazing, and I don't want to oversell here. I'll just leave that on the table. Prince is cheap for a reason, and I'm going to the pine. My apologies. He has aerial. I just... Feel there's so many players better at that tactic or method. Puskas is a talent, but I don't think he can get himself out of rank one based on what we have in foot champs. Depending if we add other tiers, he would definitely be on the upper end or the upper echelon, like top, top tier of rank one. Still with the three-star weak foot, which always hurts him a little bit for some versatility. Raul, I like him. Might be my fandom. One of the best strikers, period. For yours truly, Ribéry. Franck will, will do some things for you out wide. No knocks, no doubts of the Frenchman. Rykard, who can be a holding mid, center mid, center back. I prefer him as a center back if you have that available for you. He has quite a few lovely play styles, and he's just an athletic, physical, defensive beast. Also with the rude hole at curls. Raquel May, that's going to be a no-go. Rivaldo, he's got a lot that you can work with. I hate that he still has the two-star weak foot, but I think it'd be wrong to not give him foot champs. Roberto Carlos to rank one. Pretty explosive out wide. We all know about the free kick and the offensive capabilities, the providing. Again, in a game that's having some issues with some responsiveness and turning, Roberto Carlos doesn't have that complaint. The man, the myth, the legend, Ronaldinho. Broken. Absolutely broken. And I just did a segment for the launch event with EA in New York City where I sat down with Ronaldinho. And I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. It happened. R9. Yeah, that's going to go broken. Best icon in the game one of the greatest players in premier league history and i don't know why but i feel as if he does not get the proper appreciation wayne rooney is the real deal has been and should be regarded as so rank one i want him on the pitch he's got a lot that's good ian rush don't like him he's going to the pine sawa super official i almost want her into broken it's going to be another year of sawa doing things in the middies the new Swede, definitely foot champs, could even be having a conversation or talking about moving up to rank one, but not just yet. Hugo could still finish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even without having the skills, there's something there. Paul Scholes, I wish he was better. I don't trust in it. I'm sorry. Schweinsteiger is a weird one because I feel like there's some hype around him and that people want to use him, but when I use him, I don't love him. He's not the best midfielder I've used or the best defender and... At certain levels with icons, the expectation is high. Socrates, the philosopher and the doctor. We're putting him into foot champs. If you understand what he's capable of, you'll have an inclusion. He also has incisive pass for a play style plus. He's another player that I like in some sort of floating attacking role. And again, not to be a broken record, but this year, you can find placement for those types of individuals. Alan Shearer, it's going to be a no-go. Did not change enough. Chevy, you can make some things pop. I don't know if the debatable is discrediting him, but he's got through ball merchant all over his storyline. Kelly Smith will get you into foot champs without a doubt. Got that lefty in action. Really liked her last year as well. Stoichkov, good money. Well spent. He's got technical as a play style plus, and I just get on with him really well. I'm actually going to give him the nod to rank one. I don't think that's controversial. If you used a lot of Stoichkov, you understand my free flow, what I'm talking about. Thurum, 
France spanking new. Ah, he's got to be a rank one. Whether you use him as a fullback, I think more people will use him as a center back. The speed is there, the defending, the physicality. Doesn't necessarily have crazy passing or dribbling if you wanted to take him out wide. So I'd probably lean on him again, being more centrally based. And he's kind of collecting play styles. He has five of the six within the defending categories. So you're going to get all sorts of extracurriculars and little boost. Run him as a CB. Shuker with the Travella Plus. I like him a lot. Could be a hot take that he's going to foot champs, but that's what's happening. Van Basten does the knock on or the knockdown. He's got that in the locker. And for most of you, I still think he's debatable. Could be forcing it to put him in the lineups. Van Dessar, we're going foot champs. You're seeing a trend here with the goalkeepers. Van Nistroy. EA's got to do something to bring these players back to life. They've been in the game, but nobody uses these classic poachers. But I'd like to see them being incorporated. Van Persie, also a specialist. Put him into the debate. Veron. It's going to be a pine selection. Vidic, I like him a lot, man. Big body, so damn physical. I'm tempted. He, he might be on the cusp or the precipice of rank one. Vieira, this might be a surprise. I've got him in rank one. I don't think he can move into broken. This is one of the first years, maybe the only year. I don't know that he gives you enough with the turning and the responsiveness. He's still one of the elites when it comes to a stopper-esque midfielder. He's not scoring goals. He's not giving you skills. The passing and, and the dribbling, it's a little slower on some of those releases. If anything, he would be a broken center back. Ian Wright, uh, I don't like putting him in the pine, but we got to keep our credibility. Xabi Alonso has long ball pass for a play style plus, which I do love, but just not enough. Xavi, now we're talking foot champs, at least Yashin, foot champs, goalkeepers, you see what I'm doing, Zambrada, like him a lot. Foot champs, left back or right back. Zanetti, always a little overrated. And I'm staying true to that. We'll put him into the debate. You tell me if you feel differently. I know there's people that co-sign Zanetti every year. And then I sit here. I don't want to say tear him apart because that's not right. That's not fair. But I definitely critique. Seiko is nasty. Absolute. Genuine problem creator. He might have enough to get into broken. I want to reconversate. He does have dead ball as a playstyle plus, which is kind of a waste, but he has five star skills and a five star weak foot. Plus, you know how those Brazilians get down. Zenadine, take him to the top. Definitely broken. This game, he's much better than last year's version or last year's iteration. And then Zola, early edition. If you got the burner, you're looking for a little pace here and there. Oh, yeah, he'll give you that. No doubt. Shall we review? When I look at the pine, I don't see a lot of movements. And that's not new in these parts. In the debate, is there anyone that we want to bring up? I'd like to see Bird Camp, at least for the weekend. I don't know that he really has that. Nedved is a little cuspy for me. I've still been including him in my offensive adventures. Philip Lom is going to make some of you mad. Maybe the same with Zanetti, but... I need more. Are we doing Cannavaro wrong? Perhaps just off the play styles alone. You've got block, you have intercept, slide tackle, anticipate for Cannavaro, four out of the six in defending. We'll give him the jump to foot champs. I know Loudrup here is confusing for some. I, I hear you, but I'm telling you, Trickster does some thanks. We have made an official additional tier, which will open up a little more range for a couple players if we'd like to move from rank one into broken. R9, Rude Hullet, Mia Ham, Pele, Dino or Eusebio would be my next two that are fighting for that slot. And I'm going to lean this to Dino. So let's make some movements into broken. It does open up more space here. Zico can get in. Even Georgie Best is, is potentially on the cards. I really enjoy using them. For analyzing foot champs and players that could get moved around, the way that people abuse me with Drogba, it hurts my feelings. The separation from Gareth Bale. We'll go ahead and give him the notch. Garinch is going up. Georgie Best is going up. Am I doing too much for Broken? Perhaps. I love Eric Cantona. Rio Ferdinand, nice with it. Henri, back-to-back -back solid years. Kaká, there's a lot here. I just don't want to hand out too many placements. Puskas is at the top of this. He's got to go up to Broken with the movements that we've had. Salwa should not be slept on. As it stands, foot champs, we got a big grouping, debatable, the pond. You'll let me know how you feel in the comment section. And again, if you have any extra funds that, that you'd like to, to put forward towards Wings for Life, that would be amazing. Last year, we raised $3,100. If we can top that, more power to us. And I am streaming all the gameplay live on Twitch every single day. I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.